All right. <clears throat> It is Friday, guys. We have made it one week of virtual teaching. Can you believe it? You all have been in class for one whole week. Okay. I want to remind everybody about this. Okay. You have to be on time for Google Meets. Make sure you're on your computer ready to go at nine o'clock and that you're back. If you take a break and you actually leave the meet, you've got to make sure you get back on the meet at the right time. Okay. So make sure you get back on time at nine o'clock is our meet for morning meeting at 10 o'clock is our math meeting at um, 930 is reading. OK, so make sure you're here on time and you're ready to go. Make sure you also have the materials that you need. OK, you should have a reading notebook. You should have your cursive handwriting because you're going to use that whenever you're doing your homework. You want to make sure you have your magazine and you want to make sure you have your math notebook. OK, you also need to have a pencil and an eraser in case you need to make an erase. OK. Also, I'm going to start asking for pictures of your workspaces. OK, so if you have a certain spot where you always go to do your work, I'm going to ask you guys to send me those pictures. That way I can talk. I can I can show those to the class. Yesterday, I asked you guys to send me pictures of your um your arrays that you made and today i'm going to share those out this weekend your challenge for the class is to show me take a picture of where you do your schoolwork so if you do it in your basement take a picture of your desk in your basement if you do it in your mom's class take a picture of your your workspace if you do it in your in your class in your house at a certain space maybe in the kitchen or maybe you do it in your bedroom on a desk just take a picture of your workspace. Show me where do you do your schoolwork, okay? Because I just want to be able to share different ideas. Some people are making really cool workspaces, and I want to share those workspaces out so that you guys can see each other's in case they have really good ideas that you want to try too. Got it? All right. So make sure you have everything that you need. And number three, you have to be, be respectful. That means I see your screen. I'm watching all of you. All of you all are on the Google Meets. All of you guys have your face in your camera so I can see you. You're all here. Xavier, you kind of look bored. Can you look a little bit more interested? There we go. Okay, so just make sure you give me your eyes. You give me your attention, okay? Um, and if you have a question, you don't ask while I'm teaching. You can chat something to me in the chat box if it's on topic, okay? So make sure you're not talking about your dog. You're not talking about something random. Make sure the chat box is focused and on topic. If you have a question, I'm going to ask you to stay with me after the meet during the break, and you can ask me then. Let's say you may, you think you forget questions really easy. If you do, use your notebook, write that question down so that you'll remember, oh, I need to ask Miss Coombs that after the meeting's over. Thumbs up if you got it. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Here are the dojo points. Now, listen, these are not accurate because last night I graded more work and I gave out even more points. But as of last night, Adriel was in the lead, but I've graded more and points are different than this already. Okay. And I'm going to show you what got some of these points for people. This Dawn Ballard, are you here? Yep, there you are. Look, Dawn, do you see Dawn's work on his math? Dawn was one of the few students who got the Zern math worksheet right. Do you see his number bond right here? You all had to do two times eight equals 16, two groups of eight. This is how you do that number bond. 16 is your whole. You've got two groups and there's eight in each. This, he got... Dawn, you got quite a few dojo points for your hard work on this. This right here was Logan's. Logan, I was so impressed with your work. Do you see how Logan made this number bond and then he typed in the, you can't see it right now because I've moved, but you can see it over here. He made the number bonds and then he typed the numbers in so that he could see it nice and neat. Do you see how awesome that looks? And he got this part right. Some of you guys did three rows of five. You have to make sure you look carefully because this says five rows. 
You have to have five rows and then have three in each. Logan, I was so impressed with this. Okay, and here's a few more. There's Dawn's again. It's just bigger. And then this is Cruz's. Cruz did an incredible job too with his number bond. There was only a few kids who really understood number bonds yesterday. So I'm going to go back over that today during math. But just know, Cruz, Dawn, uh, Logan, you guys got extra dojo points for that hard work that you guys did. It showed me you truly paid close attention during the mini lesson. I was very, very, very impressed. So does everybody remember how to give them a roller coaster? Everybody put your seatbelts on. Sorry. No, you're fine. You scared me. Okay, put your seatbelt on. Everybody got it on? Ready? Put your hands up. We're doing a roller coaster. Everybody hold on. Ian, you fell off yesterday. Did you put your seatbelt on today? Okay, good. All right. Ready? Everybody. <laughs> Woo! All right. So, Logan, Dawn, Cruz, incredible job. Very impressed. Okay. How many of you guys have missed Miss Tolis? Raise your hand. How many of you guys have missed Miss Hamilton? What about Miss Lanham? Okay, so guess what? They made Google Classrooms for you guys. Do you guys want to join them so you can see what they're doing? Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a video really quick, and it's going to tell you how to join their Google Classroom. So listen carefully, everybody focus, because this is how you're going to join their Google Classroom. Miss Lanham made Hello, it. Hello, boys and girls. So this is Miss Lanham. I'm going to show you how to log in to um, and add a Google Classroom. Pause one second. Everybody watch the video. We're going to do it after the video is over. So don't do what she's saying right now. Just watch it. Thumbs up. So, Ms. Tolis, Ms. Hamilton, and myself will be sending your teachers our um, Google Classroom codes. And I thought I'd make this little video to show you how to add a um, classroom, a Google Classroom, because most of you haven't had to do that yet because your teachers have added you themselves. So, um, what you're going to do is you're going to log into Clever. Now, since I'm a teacher, I'm going to log in a little differently to Clever, but of course you would always click this down here where you say log in with Clever. Then once I get to Clever, I am going to click on Google Classroom. And again, my end probably looks a little bit different since I'm a teacher. I have a little more stuff on there probably. Now, once you get to Google Classroom, you have this page that is like the classes page. So if you want to add a um, class, like let's say you want to get into Miss Tullis's music class, you're going to go up here to this plus button on the right and you're going to click on it and then you're going to click join class. Now, right down here where um, it says class code, you're going to enter the class code that Miss Hamilton, Miss Tullis, or myself, Miss Lanham, have given you. And then you will be added to our Google Classroom. So there you have it. If you have any questions, um, feel free to email me and Miss Tullis. Miss Hamilton and Miss Lena will be getting their class codes out to you very soon. So thank you, Bobcats, and you all have a great day. All right. Now what I want you guys to do is I want you to, you're going to enter in your class codes. All right. We're getting ready to take a break, but I want to remind you guys of some things. Ryan, focus. Whenever you all turn in work, I grade it. Okay. Whenever I grade it, if you guys go to your classwork tab and at the top of your screen, it says view work. If you click that, you can see what your grades are. Cruz, make sure you're in the Google Meet. Don't click it yet, Aurora. Just stay in the meet. Cruz, stay in the meet. So whenever you check your work, some of you are getting work sent back to you because you did not finish it. Like yesterday's assignment was a reading assignment. 
some of you did not do page two. You only did the first page. So I returned that to you for you to finish. So make sure you go into your Google, um, your Google Classroom, click on Classwork. See where Classwork is right there? Click Classwork and then click View Your Work. Brennan, stay on the meet. Don't do that yet. You're going to do that during a break. Uh, remember, all of your grades are due this Sunday, Adriel Focus, this Sunday at 12 o'clock. So if whatever you have not done, you have to finish it or you're going to get a grade of a zero. If you get zeros, you're not going to get good grades on your report card. So make sure you do your work and that you turn it in on time. Got it? Okay, really quick, I want you all, do you all see that picture of me? Mind blown. Do you see Coda? There's Coda's name right there. This is Coda's Friday work. Today is Friday. And Coda has already done all of his assignments. Everything. He already did his handwriting. He already did his reading response. He already did his reading homework, the worksheet, and his Zern. He already turned it all in. He's putting first things first. He's working first, then he's playing. So this afternoon, Coda won't have to do a single thing of his work because he, he did it already. But some of you guys... You got on ABC this morning or you got on a YouTube video this morning. I watched your screens. Some of you guys were working. Others of you were playing. If you play, you're going to have to do your homework on weekends and it's not going to be fun. It's not going to be fun for you. It's not going to be fun for your parents. Put first, everybody do it. Put first things first. That means you work first, then you play. So make sure you get your classwork done so that you have a free weekend. You can have the afternoons to go play. Do your classwork. Coda, I'm very, very impressed with your work. Real, one last thing before we take a break. Every day, I need you guys to go under the day's assignment. So this is Wednesday. If you click on that, there's where all of our videos are going to be of our Google Meets. And this is where our daily check-in is, okay? Now, some of you guys have been doing that daily check-in, but this is what it looks like. I just ask you, how's your day going? You need to tell me your name. Then you pick what day is it. Then you tell me, are you happy? Do you feel okay? Or are you not having a good day? Then I'm going to ask you to talk to me about that. If you want to meet with me, then you will fill that out. And I will then schedule a meeting with you to talk about how you're feeling and why you're having a rough day. So fill this out every day at the end of the day. When you finish your work for the day, go into the days of the week, click on it, and then this assignment will pop up. Okay? Today, this is our plan. We have our morning meeting. We're going to be working on a reading lesson in just a few minutes about Ice Age. Okay? After that, we're going to have a math lesson that's talking about making groups. And then you guys are going to be free to finish the rest of your work. All right. So go ahead and take a break. If you need me, type your name in the chat box. Bye.